hey, I planned on leaving town a month ago for my big adventure, but it didn't work out that way. First, I broke my toe and that was a little more complicated than it sounds because I needed to stick in town and make sure that I didn't need surgery. Then I broke the window on my truck and then my truck needed more stuff. So uh, I had some more serious work needed to be done. So it just went on and on. And before all that, I bought the wrong truck. Lexington's been home for me since 2010, and I love, love, love it. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's got plenty of charm. And the thing I like the most is that it's surrounded by horse farms. There's always something for me to photograph. It's just so beautiful. It's truly a photographer's paradise. And it has been on my bucket list forever to explore the Redwood Forest. I've never been to Northern California, never been to the state of Oregon, never explored the Pacific Northwest. So I'm just super excited to get out there and see all that. So I am headed to Silver Creek, Washington. And from my hometown, it is a long, long drive, uh, over 2,400 miles. For the last six months, I have been living full time in this 21 foot camper van. It is a Chinook Concourse, a cream puff because it's actually a 2003 and it's perfect in every way but one. At only 21 feet, it was just great to go all kinds of places, very nimble. It had a full bathroom, a kitchen, generator, solar. I mean, it was just pretty near perfect. But the problem was it was just so small. There really was not much living room at all. Poor Mango just did not have much place to lay down. And we actually had a couple close calls where I almost stepped on him. And I felt like it's just not fair for a dog to be living in a van. He needs, you know, more space to stretch out and rest. So... I decided to buy a 23 foot travel trailer, high quality, four season with tons of storage so I could bring more stuff with me and spread out. So I was super excited about that. So I turned around and bought a Nissan Armada, which may have been a little hasty because when I did more research, I found out that the travel trailer, even though it had all that storage space, its cargo carrying capacity was only rated about the same as my camper van. So that was a deal breaker. I couldn't bring any more stuff than I already had with me. Meanwhile, I was having problems with the Armada. The air conditioning was broken. There were things beaten up on it. The window was leaking. And then there was the stick shift. It was the craziest thing ever. Look at this mess. It's an obstacle course. Oh my gosh. I just had no idea if I would ever get used to that. It was just so awkward. Fortunately, I could return it. I was just so grateful that I could return the Armada because CarMax has a policy that you can return within seven days. Yay. Hey, 
Mango and I are so ready to hit the road. It's been a long, long day. Um, he's like, let's go. Let's, let's get moving. Um, so my camper's been here at the dealership all day and now we're finally done. I had to take my truck over and get some work done on it too. It had something with the tire pressure monitoring system. So, so all that's done. It should all be behind me. I'm totally, totally ready and I'm going to hit the road. So, and mango's ready. So here we go. Day one, late in the day, but at least we're doing it.